Mr Sunak, are you confident you'll be Prime Minister by this evening? He needn't have looked so nervous out of his front door this morning, not knowing whether he'd be heading for number 10. By mid-afternoon, it was confirmed. All smiles, this lot waiting for their new leader. Rishi Sunak's supporters so relieved. But a reception to mask the true mood. Rishi Sunak, can you unite the party? A divided party, a daunting task ahead. And this a Prime Minister that will need to rise to the challenge. It is the greatest privilege of my life to be able to serve the party I love and give back to the country I owe so much to. The United Kingdom is a great country, but there is no doubt we face a profound economic challenge. We now need stability and unity, and I will make it my utmost priority to bring our party and our country together, because that is the only way we will overcome the challenges we face and build a better, more prosperous future for our children and our grandchildren. I pledge that I will serve you with integrity and humility, and I will work day in, day out to deliver for the British people. Just after two o'clock came the announcement that there was another Tory leader in the space of just eight weeks. Banging in backbench leader Sir Graham Brady as the other contender left the race. Rishi Sunak is therefore elected as leader of the Conservative Party. Just minutes before, Penny Mordaunt issued a statement admitting defeat but calling for unity, saying... I am proud of the campaign we ran and grateful to all those across all sides of our party who gave me their backing. We all owe it to the country, to each other and to Rishi to unite and work together for the good of the nation. There is much work to be done. This MP had backed Miss Mordaunt but changed his mind this morning, calling on her to fall behind Rishi Sunak. I canvassed my association this morning. Uh, my executive and my councillors, they were overwhelmingly, the message was, it's you MPs, you've got to come together, back somebody, unite behind them and bring the stability we need. Don't give us a contest. In the end, not a contest but a coronation, Mr Sunak with the backing of over half of the parliamentary party. His supporters not hard to find. Delighted. Marvellous. Cock a hoop. Oh, I think this is very good news for the country. I think Rishi Sunak will bring stability, uh, he's a very high-quality individual with a great amount of integrity. We now have a Prime Minister who's going to govern in the interest of the whole country. I think he'll choose the best talents of the Conservative Party to make sure we do that, and it will be competent, sensible government. But for all his supporters' spin, the opposition not convinced, calling for a general election. And they can't just keep doling out Prime Ministers uh, every month because they're in total chaos and they've lost control of the market and haven't got any ideas of how they're going to tackle the cost of living that people are facing. Tory MPs have seen the polling, they've lived the chaos, they want to end the mayhem. And Rishi Sunak can take comfort that senior figures from all wings of the party came out to back him. But that public support is far from universal privately. Penny Morden, I'm told by her team, was in touching distance of getting the 100 MPs needed to force him into a runoff. She wanted to fight him. The question is, do others too? For now, Tory MPs embracing their new leader. He'll be hoping to get the honeymoon period that Liz Truss did not. But his intray isn't getting any easier. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Westminster.